Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to get a news input from a user in R. So let's say the task that I've set myself here is I'm going to ask the user for their name, then I'm going to ask them for their age, and I'd like to be able to display a greeting to the user and tell them what age they will be next year. In other words, add one year to the user's age. Now to get the name of the user, I'm going to use a fairly straightforward function. So first of all, I need a variable to store uh, the, the user's name. So I'm going, to call, I'm going to call it name and assign it uh, using the read line function. So the read line function is the simplest function we have for taking input from a user. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the read line and other functions, don't forget the help tab in our studio in the bottom right hand corner. Type in read line in the search and you will get information about the read a line from the terminal function is what this does here. So it's a very, very straightforward function. You'll also get some examples in the code as to how it's used. So in the read line function, I need to have a prompt for the user to uh, tell them what I want them to do. So read line, the prompt is equal to, and in inverted commas for text, enter your name. I'm going to put a colon and a space after that, so to make that look a little bit user friendly. So I'm happy with my code here, so I click on run. And in the console, you will see I'm getting the prompt, enter your name. So if I click inside in the console and type in my name and press enter, you can see over in the global environment area, the variable name now has a value in text of the value of my name, Eugene, in this case here. Now be careful because there's a little bit of toing and froing between the script area and the console area. You can see after I've entered my name that the, the cursor is flashing down in the console. So I need to click back into the script area uh, to get the cursor flashing up there. And I'm now ready to ask the user for their age. So the variable I'm going to use here is called age and assign it something similar, read line. Um, this time the prompt is going to be a tiny bit different, asking the user to enter your age. Code on in a space again, move my cursor to the line, click on run, and then click down into the console area and enter my age, in my case it's 61, and press enter. And now click back up into the script again. So be, it's very easy to make mistakes uh, by not being clicked in the right place in here. So I can see in my uh, values, I've got my value of name, which is Eugene, and my age is 61. Now I have a problem here. You can see that the age is surrounded by inverted commas, which means it's being read in as a piece of text. So I'm now need to, I'm going to have to convert this uh, into, uh, into an integer. So I'm going to take my age variable and reassign it uh, using the as.integer function that will convert um, the contents of age in my case here, I type in age in the bracket. I'm going to convert whatever age is into an integer if it's able to do it. So uh, let me run that. Uh, you don't see any output, but uh, over in the global environment area, you will see that age now has a value of 61 and L after it to indicate that it is an integer. So that will allow me then in my output to add one to that. So I now want to output a message to the user to tell them I want to say, hi, Eugene, next year you will be 62 years old. So that's what I want to be able to do here. So to do this, I'm going to use the print function. And within that, use the print uh, paste function. Brackets again. So be careful here with, with this. You can see that the make sure the, ma the brackets are matching. So in after the paste function, in between the brackets for the paste function, I'm going to put in my message. So the first part of my message is hi. So that has to be an in inverted commas because that's a piece of text. So I'm just going to say hi. I want to be able to say hi to, to me, Eugene. So hi um, in, inside inverted commas, then a comma, a space for readability, the variable name. So whatever is stored in name, um, and then a comma again, and then the next uh, uh, piece of text will be, um, so this is going to read hi, Eugene, next year you will be, and um, I'm finished there, another comma after that. I'm going to press enter to move down to the next line for space purposes. Um, the, my age is stored in the variable age. So I want, I'm going to be 62 next year. So I want that to be able to say uh, age plus one to um, add one to my age, uh, comma then, and, uh, and I want to be able to say years old at the end of the sentence here. So, okay, so uh, just to recap in here, I'm using print paste to display the output. I'm going to have a, an initial piece of text saying hi. Then it's going to say my name. 
Then I'm going to another message saying next year you will be. Then I'm going to take my age and add one to it. And finally finish off the sentence with uh, just a little bit of years old. So I uh, move to the end of the line here and click on run. And in my output you can see it's picking up my name, Eugene, and my age, 61, adding one to it and displaying 62. So it might take you a little bit of, of uh, working out there to uh, figure out how this print paste is put, command is, uh, function is put together if you have not used uh, this before. So that's how um, you get some simple input from a user and uh, make some use of it. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.